you have to take a, a deep breath and uh, analyze what, what you know. Uh, the New Yorker is a very credible media source. It's uh, like Vanity Fair. It occasionally breaks uh, big stories. And we'll have to see the story and wait for the individual board investigation. Uh, but uh, I think, and I've said it uh, on, the, on the network, uh, that uh, Les Moonves is, uh, is replaceable. If you look at the stock chart of uh, CBS over the last five years, it's, it's basically flat. Uh, Moonves has taken out several hundred million dollars, uh, and uh, the, the shareholders have not had any appreciation. Now, granted, there was a lot of appreciation before that, but uh, none uh, in, the, uh, in, in the last five years. Uh, in addition, I think there's a very important issue here in terms of management versus ownership. Uh, Les is the manager. The, uh, the Redstone interests are the owners. Uh, he has opposed the uh, uh, the management's wishes, and uh, or the owners the owners' wishes, and uh, uh, as a consequence, uh, we have court action, and I think uh, there's a decision expected right. somewhere around uh, around October. You know, Larry, now, I, that that I leads me to my next question. You know, in terms of the ownership of this company, and and just to put a fine point on, on The New Yorker as a publication. I mean, this is not just a New Yorker piece. This is a piece by Ronan Farrow, who has won uh, the Pulitzer Prize for his investigation to Harvey Weinstein. So perhaps this is in part why the stock is falling so sharply in reaction to this. In terms of the ownership, does this, uh, you know, does this open uh, the possibility or raise the probability of perhaps Viacom and CBS ultimately combining? Oh, I think it makes it almost a, uh, almost a certainty. And uh, uh, I think, uh, and uh, we're involved in in both of the companies, so we're not uh, uninterested uh, um, uh, by Sanders, uh, Melissa. Uh, uh, I, I think here, you know, looking at uh, as uh, an owner of this business, uh, you probably are going to be uh, to be better off. Uh, Viacom is going to benefit, uh, I think, from uh, an enormous uh, box office for uh, the Mission Impossible movie, which has been uh, very well reviewed and opens today. And uh, if you look at CBS without uh, Moonves, uh, the programming for this year is all set. Uh, uh, the sports are the sports uh, with, with or without him. So I don't think his leadership is going to have a tremendous effect on the cash flow. And I think this is going to facilitate the uh, combination, which is going to unleash, I think, a couple hundred million dollars of uh, synergies. And my own view, and I don't really know what uh, uh, Sherry Redstone's long-term uh, game plan is. My own view is that the likelihood of this combined entity uh, being sold in the next uh, few years is, uh, is, so, is very, very high. So, Larry, your presumption here, I, I, I'm hearing you say that you expect that a, that a combination of Viacom and CBS is more likely as a result of what we have been reporting today uh, uh, per Ronan Farrow, and that your presumption, I'm taking it, is that he's going to be gone soon. I don't, you know, I don't really know. I mean, we, we, I'm not looking at any facts. I don't have anything other than uh, um, I'll probably be buying a copy of the New Yorker when it hits the uh, hits the press. This is going to take a long time, but these accusations are serious. Uh, the journalism here, uh, pending seeing the article, is uh, is very credible. This isn't uh, a sensational tabloid. Uh, and uh, uh, but he's opposed the combination, have, correct? I'm sorry. Mr. Moonves has opposed the combination of those two companies. Oh yes, absolutely, absolutely. So, so if he's not gone and is still in power, why does it make it more likely that the two would get together? That's well, kind of my, the heart of my question. I, I think if there's uh, fire here rather than smoke, uh, he he will probably not be in his current position. Okay. Uh, I, I I think that uh, it's unlikely that he would. Uh, uh, he, he would continue. These are, in, in 2018, these are very serious allegations. All right, Larry, thank uh, you very I, much. I believe, uh, you, you know, you, you, you can't uh, judge a case until you've seen all the facts. Uh, and, you know, there won't be a jury here, but uh, uh, I, I think uh, it, it's a real uh, problematic situation, and I wish everyone the, uh, everyone the best. And I'll, but uh, should okay. move as be forced to leave, I think a combination will happen and then probably an eventual sale and uh, the shareholders uh, and the owner will be uh, uh, net beneficiaries.